Okay, so once again, good day everyone. So our topic for today is about uh, enhancing decision making. No? So after uh, the discussion of this uh, lesson, you will be able to answer the following questions. No? Number one questions that we really want to address, of course, is what are the different types of decision and how does the decision making process work? No? Number two, how do information systems support the activities of managers and managing decision making? Number three, how do business intelligence and business analytics support decision making? Number four, how do different decision making constituents and an organization use business intelligence? And what is the role of information system in helping people working in a group make decisions more de efficiently? So, uh, decision making in businesses used to be limited to management. Of course, today, a lower level employee are responsible for some of these decisions as information system make information available to making or to lower level of the business. But what we do we what do we mean by better decision making? How does decision making take place in businesses and other organizations? So what does it mean of to the business to make better decisions? So what is the monetary value of improved decision making? So <clears throat> We have different types of decision making and the business value of enhancing decision making. So to give us more details and uh, information related to the topic, let us all welcome our first presenter. Go ahead, madam. Good day, everyone. I'm Annaline Ardivera and I will present to you enhancing decision making. The learning objectives are describe the different types of decision and how does decision making process work. Explain how information systems support the activities of managers and management decision making. Explain how business intelligence and business analytics support decision making. Explain how different decision making constituencies in an organization use business intelligence. Describe the role of information system in helping people working in a group make decisions more efficiently. This lesson focuses on the information system that supports decision making in a firm and discusses the value of improved decision making in an organization. Business value of improved decision making. Improving hundreds of thousands of small decisions adds up to large annual value for the business. Types of decision. First, the unstructured decisions. Decision maker must provide judgment, evaluation, and insight to solve problems. Each of these decisions is novel, important, and non-routine, and there is no well understood or agreed on procedure for making them. Second is structured decision. By contrast, are repetitive and routine. Involve definite procedure for handling so they do not have to be treated each time as new. And the third one is semi-structured. Only part of problem ha has clear-cut answer provided by accepted procedure. In general, structured decisions are more prevalent at lower organizations whereas unstructured problems are more common at higher levels of the firm. The types of decision being made at the different levels within an organization like senior managers who make unstructured decisions, such as establishing the firm's five or 10 year goals of, or deciding new markets to enter. Middle, ma middle managers. Make more structured decision, but this may include unstructured components. This middle manager will obtain a report from the firm's enterprise system or distribution management system on order activity and operational efficiency. Operational managers rank and file employees. Make more structured decisions. 
For example, a supervisor on an assembly line has to decide whether an early paid worker is entitled to overtime pay. If the employee works more than eight hours on a particular day, the supervisor would routinely grant overtime pay for any time beyond eight hours that was clocked on that day. Information requirements of key decision groups in a firm. This figure provides an illustration of how the nature of decision-making changes as you move up and down the corporate hierarchy. There are, of course, exceptions. Some senior managers like to take a hands-on approach to daily operation. As you can see, the decision characteristic for senior management is unstructured and the example decision is decide entrance or exit from markets approve capital budget, and decide long-term goals. In middle management, the decision characteristic is semi-structured and the example of decisions are design a marketing plan, develop a departmental budget, and design a new corporate website. In operational management or individual employees and teams, the decision characteristics is structured and the example of decision are determine overtime eligibility, restock inventory, offer credit to customer, and determine special offers to customer. Business value of enhanced decision making. Decisions are classified as structured, semi structured, and as structured. As we can see on the table, the example decision is allocate support to most valuable customer and the decision maker is the account manager. Number of annual decision is 12 and the estimated value to firm of a single improved decision is $100,000. The annual value is $1,200,000 and so on and so forth. The four stages of the decision making process. Intelligence, discovering and identifying and understanding the problems occurring in the organization. It is where a why a problem exists, where and what effects is a having on the firm. Design, identifying and exploring solution to the problem. Choice, choosing among the solution alternatives. Implementation, making chosen alternative work and continuing to monitor how well solution is working. Here are the stages in decision making. The decision making process is broken down into four stages. The intelligence, design, choice, implementation. In intelligence, it is where the problem discovery and ask what is the problem. In design, this is where the solution dis this is where the, are the possible solutions. What are the possible solutions? Third is choice. We're in choosing the solutions. What is the best solution? And lastly, the implementation where the solution testing and asking if the solution working, can we make it work better? The figure shows that you can return to an earlier stage in the decision making process and repeat it if necessary emphasizing that steps can be repeated as needed, depending on the outcome at each stage. Managers and decision-making in the real world. The system to support decision-making produce better decision making by managers and employees. Above average returns on investment for the firm and ultimately higher profitability. However, information system cannot improve all the different kinds of decision taking place in an organization. Managerial roles. The managerial roles play key roles in organization. The responsibilities range from making decisions to writing reports to attending meetings and to arranging birthday parties. We are able to better understand managerial functions and roles by examining classical and contemporary models of managerial behavior. Classical model of, man of, classical model of management, planning, organizing, coordinating, deciding, and controlling. These are the classical function of managers and this description of management activities dominated management thought for a long time and it is still popular today. 
behavioral models. Actual behavior, behavior of managers appears to be less systematic, more informal, less reflective, more reactive, and less well-organized than in classical models. Means Birch 10 managerial roles. Analyzing managers' day-to-day -day behavior, Means Birch found that it could be classified into 10 manager, managerial roles. Managerial roles are expectation of the activities that managers, managers should perform in an organization. Means Birch found that these managerial roles fell into three categor categories, interpersonal, informational, and decisional. Interpersonal roles. Managers act as figurehead for the organization when they represent their companies to the outside world and perform symbolic duties, such as giving out employee awards in their, in their interpersonal role. Managers act as leaders, attempting to motivate, counsel, and support subordinates. Managers also act as liaisons between various organization levels. Within each of these levels, they serve as liaisons among the members of the management team. Managers provide time and tables, which they expect to be returned. Informational role. In their informational role, managers act as the nerve centers of their organization, receiving the most concrete, up-to-date information and redistributing it to those who need to be aware of it. Managers are therefore information information disseminators and spokespersons for the organization. Decisional roles. Managers make decisions. In their decisional roles, they are as entrepreneurs by initiating new kinds of activities. They handle disturbances arising in the organization. They allocate resources to staff members who need them, and they negotiate conflicts and mediate between conflicting groups. The table shows that information systems are now capable of supporting most but not all areas of management life. As we can see on the table, the, the roles are, interpers are interpersonal under it are figurehead, which the support system are the telepresent system. Next, the leader, which is the behavior is interpersonal, and the support system is the telepresent social network and Twitter and so on and so forth. Three main reasons why investments in information technology do not always produce positive results. Even in decision-making situations that can be helped by information systems, the information system may fail in helping to solve the problem or lead to a better decision. Information quality. High quality decisions require high quality information. If the output of information system does not meet this quality criteria, decision making will suffer. Management filters. Even with timely accurate information, some managers make bad decisions. Managers absorb information through a series of filters to make sense of the world around them. Managers have selective attention and have variety of biases that reject information that must not conform to prior conceptions. Organizational inertia and politics. Organizations are bureaucracies with limited capa capabilities and co competencies for acting decisively. Strong forces within organizations resist making decisions, calling for major change. Information quality dimension. In quality dimension, there is accuracy which describes do the data represent reality? The integrity, where the description is, are the structure of data and relationships among the entities and attributes consistent? Inconsistency, are the data elements consistently defined? Completeness, are all the necessary data present? Validity, do data values fall within defined ranges? Timeless. Area data available when needed. Accessibility. Are the data accessible, comprehensible, and usable? Business intelligence in the enterprise. 
Business intelligence is a term used by hardware and software vendors and information technology consultants to, to describe the, the infrastructure for warehousing, integrating, reporting, and analyzing data that comes from the business environment. The foundation infrastructure collects, stores, cleans, and makes relevant information available to manage. manager. Business analytics is also a vendor-defined term that focuses more on tools and techniques for analyzing and understanding data. Think online analytical process or OLAP, statistics, models, and data mining. Business intelligence vendors create business intelligence and analytics for chase-based learning. It is important to remember that business intelligence and analytics are products defined by technology vendors and consulting firms. They consist of hardware and software so sold primarily by large system vendors, the very large Fortune 500 firms. This is an overview highlighting the kinds of hardware software and management capabilities that the major vendors offer and the firms develop over time. Business intelligence and analytics requires a strong database foundation, a set of analytic tools and an involved management team that can ask intelligent questions and analyze data. Six elements in the business intelligence environment that play in business intelligence data from the business environment. Business must deal with both structured and unstructured data from many different sources, including mobile devices and the internet. The data need to be integrated and organized so that they can be analyzed and used by human decision makers. Business intelligence in infrastructure the underlying foundation of business intelligence is a powerful database system that captures all the relevant data to operate the business. The data may be stored in transactional databases or combined and integrated in, into an enterprise data warehouse or series of interrelated data mines. Business analytics tool set. A set of software tools are used to analyze data and produce reports, respond to questions posed by managers, and track the progress of business using the indicator of performance. Managerial user and methods. Business intelligence hardware and software are only as intelligent as a human being who use them. Managers impose order on the analysis of data using a variety of man managerial methods that de define strategic business goal and specify how progress will be measured. Delivery platform. MIS, DSS, and ESS. The result from business intelligence and analytics are delivered to managers and employees in a variety of ways, depending on what on what they need to know to perform their job. MIS, the DSS, and ESS deliver information and knowledge to different people and levels in the team. Operational employees, middle managers, and senior executives. And last, user interface. Business people are no longer tied to their desk and desktop. They often learn quicker from a visual representation of data than from a dry report with columns and rows of information. Today's business analytics software to switch emphasize visual techniques such as dashboard and scorecards. Business intelligence and analytics capabilities. Goal is to deliver accurate real-time information to decision makers. Main functionalities of business intelligence system, production reports. These are predefined reports based on industry-specific requirements. Parameterized reports. User enters several parameters as an attribute table to filter data and isolate impacts of parameters. For instance, you might want to enter region and time of day to understand how sales of a product vary by region and time. Dashboard and or scorecards. These are visual tools for, for presenting performance data defined by users. 
ad hoc research or report creation. This allow user to create their own report based on queries and searches. Drill down. This is the ability to move from a high-level summary to a more detailed view. Forecast scenarios and models. This include the ability to perform in linear forecasting, what-if scenario analysis, and analyze data using standard statistical tools. Business intelligence user, 80% are casual users relying on production reports. Senior executives use monitoring functionalities, middle managers and analysis, ad hoc analysis, operational employees, pre-pack reports, example, sales forecast, customer satisfaction, loyalty and attrition, supply chain backlog, employee productivity. Casual users are consumers of business intelligence output, while intense power users are the producers of reports, new analysis model, and forecast. This graphic looks at the different types of user and what they use business intelligence application for. On the left, power users, users who rely on business intelligence most intensively, are broken into four main categories which each category plays beside the types of reports it uses most. On the right, casual users are also broken into various categories and placed along the type of capabilities used most. For example, senior managers rely most on parameters, reports, and dashboards. Example of business information application, predictive analytics. Use variety of data techniques to predict future trends and behavior patterns incorporated into numerous BI applications for sales, marketing, finance, fraud detection, health care. Predictive analytics are being built into a mainstream application for every, everyday decision making by all types of employees, especially in finance and marketing. Production reports are mostly used output of business intelligence so it is common to define prepackaged reports. Example of business intelligence production reports are sales, service call center, marketing, procurement and support, supply chain, finan financial, and human resources. Big data analytics. Big data, massive data sets collected, collected from social media, online and in-store customer data, and so on. Help create real-time, personalized shopping experience for major online retailers. Additional business intelligence application. Data visualiz visualization and visual analytic tools. Tools help users see patterns and relationships in large amounts of data that would be difficult to discern if the data were presented as traditional lists of text. Geographic Information System, or GIS, help decision makers visualize problems requiring knowledge about the ge geographic distribution of people or other resources. Their software ties location data to points, lines, and areas on a map. Some GIS have modeling capabilities for changing the data and autom automatically revising business scenarios. GIS might be used to help state and local governments calculate response times to natural disaster and other emergencies or to help banks. Two main management strategies for developing business intelligence and business application capabilities. There are advantages and disadvantages to both of the options. In one case, a single vendor might be easier to deal with, but harder to switch. Using multiple, multiple applications means that each solution might be more specifically suited to your business, but may pose difficulties when integrating with hardware or other software. The text points out that the marketplace is highly competitive and given to hyperbole, and managers will need to carefully examine the software's capabilities in light of needed expenditures. One-step integrated solution. Hardware firms sell software that run optimally on their hardware. 
make firm dependent on single vendor switching costs. Two, multiple best of breed solution, greater flexibility and independence, potential difficulties in integration, must deal with multiple vendors. <clears throat> Operational and middle managers are generally charged with monitoring the performance of key aspects of the business, ranging from the downtime of machines on a factory floor to the daily or even hourly sales at franchise food stores, <clears throat> to the daily traffic at a company's website. Most of the decisions they make are properly structured. Use management information system or MIS running data from PPS for routine production reports, exception reports. Management information system are typically used by middle managers to support this type of decision making. And their primary output is a set of routine production reports based on data extracted and summarized from the firm's underlying transaction processing system. Super user business analysis. Some managers are super user and keen business analysis who want to create their own reports and use more sophisticated an analytics and models to find patterns in data, to model alternative business scenarios or to test a specific hypothesis. Use decision support system or DSS for more sophisticated analysis and custom reports and semi-structured decisions. DSS rely more heavily on modeling than, modeling than MIS, using mathem mathematical or analytical models to perform what if or other kinds of analysis. What if analysis, working forward from known or assumed conditions, allows the user to vary certain values to test results or predict outcomes if changes occur in those values. Decision support system are the business intelligence delivery platform for this category of users with the ability to support some structured decision making. It is used to mathematical or analytical models allow varied types of analysis, what if analysis, sensitivity analysis, backward sensitivity analysis, multidimensional analysis or OLA, for example, Pivot table. <clears throat> this table display the result of a sensitivity analysis of the effect of changing the sale price of a necktie and the cost per unit and the product's break even point. It answers the question what happens to the break even point if the sale price and the cost make each unit increase or decrease. A pivot table that examines customer regional distribution and advertising source. In this pivot table, we are able to examine where an online training company's customer come from in terms of region and advertising source. ESS or executive support, support system, decision support for senior management. This executive support system utilize some type of methodology to determine which information affects the pro profitability and success of the firm and how this information can be measured. One popular methodology is the balanced scorecard method. It helps executives focus on important performance information. Balanced scorecard method, method at outcomes and four dimensions. Financial, business process, process, customer, leading, and growth. Balance scorecard method. The balance scorecard is a framework for operation, operationalizing a firm's strategic plan by focusing on measurable outcomes and four dimensions of firm performance. Performance on each dimension is measured using key performance indicator or KPI which are the measures, measures proposed by senior management for understanding how well the firm is performed along any given dimension. 
In the balanced scorecard framework, the firm's strategic objectives are operationalize a long four dimension financial business process, customer and learning and growth. Each dimension is measured using several KPI. This framework depicts the balanced scorecard methodology that many managers use to measure the performance of their business and to understand how firm strategies are impacting the four dimensions of interest. For each of these dimensions, performance is oper operationalized by identifying key performance indicators for that dimension. Decision support system for senior management. Another close, closely related popular management methodology is business performance management, or BPM. It translates from strat strategies, sample differentiation, low cost producer, scope of operation, into operational targets. KPIs develop the measure progress toward targets. Well, this I. The firm's performance is then measured with information drawn from, drawn from the firm's enterprise database system. BPM uses the same ideas as balanced scorecard, but with a stronger strat strategy playbook. Data for ESS. In, internal data from enterprise application. External data such as financial market database. Drill down capabilities. Well-designed ESS enhanced management effectiveness by helping senior executives monitor organizational performance, track activities of competitors, recognize changing market conditions, and identify problems and opportunities. Immediate access to data increases executives' ability to monitor activities of lower units reporting to them. That very monitoring ability enables decision making to be decentralized and to take place at lower operating levels, increasing management span of control. Group decision support system or GDS is another type of system that support decision making. Increasingly, GDS is a visual meeting or telepresence capability rather than physical group decision rooms used when these techniques were first developed. A GDSS is an interactive computer-based system for facilitating the solution of unstructured problems by a set of decision makers working together as a group in the same location or in different locations. Collaboration systems and web design tools for video conferencing and electronic meetings described earlier in this context, in this text supports some group decision processes, but their focus is primarily on communication. GDSS, however, provides tools and technologies geared explicitly toward group decision making. GDSS guided meetings take, take place in conference room with special hardware and software tools to facilitate group decision making. The hardware includes computer and network, networking equipment, overhead projectors and display screens. Special electronic meeting software collects, documents, ranks, edits, and store the ideas offered in a decision-making meeting. The more elaborate GDSS is just a professional facilitator and support staff. The facilitator selects the software tools and help organize and run the meeting like Overhead projector display screens of protocol exam, edit participant ideas and response may require facilitator and staff. Enable increasing meeting size and increasing productivity. Promotes collaborative atmosphere, anonymity. Uses a structured method to organize and evaluate ideas. GDSS effectiveness depends on the nature of the problem in the group and on how well a meeting is planned and conducted. And that's all. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for a well comprehensive discussions about the uh, topic. No? So a while ago, before uh, our presenter discussed no, or start the, uh, her presentation, I'll give you five questions no, related to the topic. Number one, <coughs> So what are the different types of decision and how does the decision-making process work? 
So the answer goes like this. No? The different levels in an organization like strategic, ma strategic management and operational because in decision making, we have three, no? three that strategic, uh, the management and the operational. They have different decision making requirements. No? Decision can be structured, semi-structured or unstructured. So with, with the structured decision clustering at the operational level of the organization and an structured decision at the strategic level. So decision making can be performed by individuals or groups and includes employees as well as operational, middle and senior managers. There are four stages in decision making, no? <clears throat> uh, as what our uh, presenter discussed or mentioned, no? the, the, the intelligence, the design, the choice and the implementation. So. <clears throat> Systems to support decision making do not always produce better manager and employee decisions that improve firm performance because of problems with information quality, management filters, and organizational culture. <clears throat> Question number two a while ago is how do information systems support the activities of managers and management decision making? <clears throat> so early classical model or models of managerial activities stress the functions of planning, organizing, coordinating, deciding, and controlling. Contemporary research looking at the actual behavior of managers has found that managers' real activities are highly fragmented, no? variegated, uh, and brief in duration, and that managers shy away from making grand sweeping policy decisions. <clears throat> Information technology provides new tools for managers to carry out both their traditional and newer roles, so enabling them to monitor, plan, and forecast with more precision and speed than ever before and to respond more rapidly to the changing business environment. So information systems have been most helpful to managers by providing support for the rules and disseminating information, <laughs> providing liaisons, between organizational levels and allocating resources. <clears throat> However, information systems are less successful at supporting unstructured decisions. So where information systems are useful, information quality, manager, uh, management uh, filters, and organizational culture can degrade decision making. <clears throat> Number three questions goes, uh, how do business intelligence and business analytics support decision making? <clears throat> We need to take note that business intelligence and analytics promise to deliver correct, nearly real-time information to decision making or to the decision makers. And the analytic tools help them quickly understand the information and take actions. So business intelligence environment consists of data from the business environments and the BI infrastructure or the business intelligence infrastructure. Uh, a BA tool set no managerial users and methods, a BI delivery platforms for MIS, DSS, or ESS, as our presenter mentioned, no? and the user interface. And there are six analytic functionalities that BI systems deliver to achieve this end. <clears throat> they have the predefined production reports, parameterized reports, dashboard and scorecards, ad hoc queries and searches, the ability to drill down to detailed views of data, and the ability to model scenarios and create forecast. <clears throat> Number four questions earlier is how do different decision-making constituents in an organization use business intelligence? Operational and middle management are generally charged with monitoring the performance of their firm. Again, when we see operational, they are, they are the supervisors. No? Uh, when we say the middle management, they are the vice president. When we, did, when we say the strategic, no, they are the president or the owner or the CEO. No? <clears throat> now, most of the decisions they make are fairly structured. So management information system producing routine production reports are typically used to support this type of decision making. So for making unstructured decisions, middle managers and an analyst will use decision support systems with powerful analytics and modeling tools, including spreadsheet and FIBO tables. <clears throat> On the other hand, the senior executive making unstructured decisions are dashboards and visual interfaces displaying key performance information affecting the overall profitability, success, and strategy of the firm or in the industry. So the balance scorecard in business performance management are two methodologies used in designing executive 
support system. The last questions I will throw a while ago. So the last question we throw a while ago is what is the role of information system in helping people working in a group make decision more efficiently? Again, it is very important for us uh, to have two to three or more or group people who make a decision because group decision support system, as what our uh, presenter mentioned, it helps people working together in a group arrive at a decision more efficiently because the GDSS or the Group Decision Support System Conference or a special, a special conference room facilities where participants contribute their ideas using network, computers, and software tools for organizing ideas, gathering information, making and setting priorities, and documenting meeting sessions. And I think that's it. And this will be the most important questions that we need to, to, to answer in this topic. So. Uh, once again, congratulations to the presenter, a, a very uh, comprehensive uh, discussions.